Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. So here's our website, NewQBO.com, and we do QuickBooks and Salting. And if you have any QuickBook question, you can just uh, ask question here. Just straightforward, you know, form. Just fill out, and someone will answer you. Okay, so this video I'm going to focus on. Uh, this is the uh, this is a really brand new one. They just came out with. Some of you may not may, may haven't seen it, but uh, uh, you know they do uh, release it. Uh, you know, uh, in batch. Uh, so this one has to do with the create a bundle, uh, or you can call it group items, or you want to make a package deal. So when I say package deal, like uh, you know, let's say uh, you know you may be familiar with like a you know, somebody will sell you a package deal like this one in here, camera package deal. See, so like this. So if you buy this, you know, package, you will get uh, you know all these bundles. Normally, you get a you know uh, camera, and they include all the uh, accessories stuff here. All right. So that's what the create a bundle means. And if you are familiar with the QuickBook Desktop. Uh, they uh, they have it, you know. Uh, you may have used it or may may not. Anyway, so uh, if you go to under item in here, as you can see here, it's a group, right? You know, so this is very similar to this one. This is a desktop one. Now they have it in uh, uh, online too. So all you do is just add items in here from the from your uh, list, item list like this. And you just put in quantity, how, what kind of bundle you want. You want like this, like that, you know. And you come up with the, uh, you know, uh, the pricing on that way. Okay, so uh, so it's very similar to this one. So I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online now. Okay, there's QuickBooks Online. Okay, first you need to set up a bundle. To set up a bundle, of course, you need to go to uh, your company gear and on the list you select product and services alright and just click new and then you will see bundle like this so you just uh, name your bundle whatever you want to name it and then skew and you know uh, come up with the sales information for that one and basically just keep on adding from your list in here you know whatever you have in here okay list it and you can list up to 50 individual items, uh, but you can't list bundle uh, on top of bundle. So it's basically individual items. Uh, so you know up to 50, and uh, no bundle. Okay. So if you are uh, uh, working on Pro Advisor, or, you know they may ask you this question: How many you can add uh, to bundle? Okay, it's 50, and you can't add bundle and bundle. Okay, so at this point right now, that's what it is. Okay, so um, I've already done one here. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. All right, I'm going to click this. Okay, so this is basically a uh, service type. And on this one, you have, uh, you're going to bundle this, uh, you know, instead of uh, uh, pricing uh, setup for one price and uh, training separately is going to bundle this and uh, uh, I've come up with the uh, the bundle in here okay so and at this point first one I want to show you without checking this box and I'll show you both okay so now you're ready to uh, invoice okay so go to invoice all right I'm just going to select one customer in here all right this one and let's we'll say uh, bundle from the list right here Keep your uh, SD setup and training bundle. Okay, so at this point you will see something like this. Uh, it's uh, six hundred dollars for uh, individual pricing, six hundred dollars for setup, and four hundred dollars for training. Right, and combined is one thousand dollars. Okay, so now if I preview this, the invoice will look like this. It will basically hide all uh, individual items and would just so the uh, bundle uh, you know as a separate item okay like this one right here okay but you don't so list all the uh, 
item, although you see it here, uh, but you don't so it says right here, customer won't see any of the items in this bundle like that. That's one way, okay? Uh, so now, you know, you have $1,000, and let's say you want to give some discount. Whenever, normally, you know, the, you know, the bundle pricing is different than the individual item pricing, right? So you want to give some discount. Let's say you want to come give some discount on this one. Okay, so just go to that bundle thing. I already done one here, discount. It's a service type. And in this case, it's $60. You get $60 discount. It's a negative. You have to enter the negative in here like this. So you normally, you would select like, uh, even if you are selling inventory items, uh, for discount, you don't want to select inventory because it will count as quantity. So you just want to select like either service type or maybe non-inventory. So I prefer service. Okay, so $60 negative. So I'm just going to go to bundle again. All right, edit. And now I'm going to add one more. Uh, this time it's the discount one. The discount here, okay. Like this. And normally, you know, uh, when you're selling inventories, uh, like the, 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 uh, the pack is still in here. It could be one this and two here, like that, right? Two items of something. You just change the quantity in here, like this, you know. So that anyway, you want to bundle it, you know. So that's how it works. And if you want to delete it, just this is the uh, trash trash can in here. Just pick, select that one, and you can delete it. And you can move this one. Is a move up and down thing, you know. You move up and down like that, right? Like this, see? Like that. You can move up and down, okay? So anyway, I'm going to save this and close. Okay, so now I can go ahead and invoice it. So now you will see uh, your invoice amount with discount now. So it's 940 and here's a $60 negative uh, at your discount. So it'll basically reduce your income. All right, so you can save this. And if you preview it, it's still one line. Right here, like that, right? And uh, now I'm gonna close this. Now I'm gonna go to this and click this one now. So you wanna see listing of all these items. Save and close. I'm going to go to invoice again, select a customer, select bundle, right, it's the same one, okay, it's right here, so the, uh, the distribution is still the same, I'm going to save this and preview, okay, so now you see listing of all the items in here, like this, right, including discount and everything, okay, what if you don't want to, uh, so the pricing in here, right? Uh, that's the whole purpose of package deal. You don't want to show the pricing individually. So in that case, what you need to do is, is you have to use this and expand this like this. And so the bundle will include uh, the following items type, you know, the setup, training, and special discount something like this you know and save this okay so now you can preview this right you get all this like this you know everything like this and uh, uh, like it not now you don't want to show the you know the uh, the breakdown here so now you need to go back and now change it uncheck that box like this one, right? Now you can create an invoice again. Bundle. See, so all you have to do is to click select bundle and uh, sew up. Okay, so now you know, just type it, whatever you want to say it. I already have under description, uh, so you can include a description or just itemize it. Either way, that will work.
All right, I'm going to save this and print and preview. So it will come out something like this. Set up training discount the listing, you know. Okay. So now, uh, next thing is, I'm going to save this first. Okay. So now, uh, let's say, you don't want to, you know, type all these all the time, right? So you can basically make it recurring and make a template, you know, template of this uh, invoice, invoice template like this and make this like a uh, uh, unscheduled type, you know, like this. So now it's unscheduled and you can save this and when you, whenever you want to use this, you know, uh, let's say bundle template. Right, you need to select client, but you can change it later on. Like this now, right? So if you want to use that one, you just go to the uh, recording thing right here. See right here. You know, now I want to use it. Or you can just duplicate it. Right? And then select new customer. Like this. And use that one. Save template. Right? Okay. So recording invoice saved. And now if you go to invoice, it's saved. See, like this. Print and preview. Yeah, like this, you know. So whatever, uh, you know, uh, whatever way it works for you, uh, you know, you can set it up like that. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. Visit our website, visit our consulting, and if you have any questions, just, as I said, just, uh, you know, uh, just send us, uh, send us some questions, you know, someone will answer you. Thank you. Bye.